Um, hi, I'm Mark, and I play the clarinet. The idea is that like I work with Wirecut, and I primarily build a relationship with them, whereby they get to know me and what I want as a musician. Um, and then through their links in the industry, I may that we can kind of like work towards doing some exciting projects and um, you know putting on some good concerts. Essentially, that's the kind of thing. I started playing the recorder in primary school, um, and at the same time, my mum had me play kind of electronic keyboard lessons as well in town, kind of kind of after school kind of thing. Um, that was one of many extracurricular activities my mum attempted me to kind of undertake: trampolining, judo, swimming, um, being some other examples of attempts my mum to kind of keep me off the streets. Although it wasn't like I was. Selling crack or anything, <laughs> and then around the age of nine, I was given a um, clarinet by my my primary school. Offered free lessons from the local kind of music support service, and it was between a clarinet and a flute. And at that time, I'd um, I'd heard um, Gershwin's Rhapsody in Blue, and which starts with that famous clarinet glissando, that big swoop to the top. Um, I did a concert in, in Truro, which is in Cornwall, right at the bottom of the country. It took me about seven hours to get there. And I was doing a concerto with um, an orchestra. Um, and I thought there was going to be a conductor, and there wasn't a conductor, which I found out on the day, which was kind of stressful in the end, but whatever, it was fine. Um, I did the rehearsal, and I kind of felt a bit iffy. And then it got to the concert, and this is a concerto I played about four, four or five times from memory. I knew it. And kind of, um, I walked out and the orchestra started the introduction. And I came in and I must have lasted about 30 or so bars. And I, my mind went completely blank. And the orchestra kind of ground to a halt. And I turned to the leader and said, we have to stop. I need to go and get my music. And I ran off stage, got my music, came back on, played the rest of the piece. And it was the worst 25 minutes of my life. And that, I think, was indicative of of a period when I was very, very, um, very young, quite, uh, quite naive, and was um, so eager to kind of just do everything that I possibly could. Um, and I think it's really important to kind of to make sure, especially I mean, especially from my point of view as a as a composer as well, when I have a, an extra thing to to think about that. that I I'm I'm so assured in why I'm playing the concerts that I'm playing and what I'm playing them for um, and what I have to say about the music that I'm playing because, um, I mean, this music is hundreds of years old and so many thousands of people have, have played it before. I have an instinctive urge to kind of express myself musically. I have a, a, a kind of a, a physical need to either play music or write music or communicate via music and I'm, and it's the way I, it's the way in which I kind of think and kind of see the world through um, you know I, I've learned so much about politics and culture and philosophy and, and literature through the music I'm interested in and as a young performing artist as a musician we're, we're always kind of anxious and struggling to kind of to to make it in the in the profession so to be selected by Wirecut as one of two artists for this year is, is a huge confidence boost and um it's kind of given me an assurance that you know I've I'm, I'm going to be able to achieve the things that I've set out to to achieve as a musician and um and and do some you know some great concerts and stuff in the future so yeah I'm, I'm really excited as to what the future holds along the Thames is my favorite part of London um, especially just as the sun set in, a kind of a warm kind of summer evening when you can see the whole kind of like London skyline. That's particularly particularly nice. I mean, even when I'm socialising, I'm socialising within a musical kind of context anyway. I go to con I go to a lot of concerts, I try to get to as much as I can. Um, when I'm not practising, I'm writing music or I'm kind of thinking about other things. I mean... It's, <laughs> I don't really switch off. <laughs> that's the that's the answer. I mean, it's not to say I'm some kind of like, you know, freak or is he? Well, maybe I'm a bit of a freak. I don't know. Probably. Okay. Yes, let's, let's, do you want this? Do you want this? Thank you.